Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. Today's video, we're going to talk about the key behind the best performing stories on medium.com and I'm referring to my own best performing stories that have bought me a consistent income. It's not too much, but it does add up and I feel like uh, it's really important for anyone starting out on the medium.com platform, writing on medium to understand what makes a best performing story and what can they focus on in order to write uh, good stories that uh, add up when it comes to their earnings as well and their exposure of their account. It's not just the earnings, it's the exposure that you need um, in the account to help in bringing um, engagement because engagement is really, really important when it comes to medium. So let's start off uh, before uh, we dig into the uh, stats. I'd like to remind you if you um, enjoy videos such as these, please subscribe to the channel, support the channel. I do daily videos talking about uh, my passive income st story, my journey, my income stats and income reveals, as well as some strategies that I follow. I focus on Amazon KDP uh, by revealing low competition, high demand keywords, breaking it down for you to help you in making a successful, easy transition. So let's start with the uh, stats behind my viral articles, my earnings and my reflections as well. So. First of all, how I started writing on Medium, I'd just like to sum it up for you. I did go in, in depth uh, talking about my journey on Medium and what I've learned after a whole year of writing on the platform. You'll find the link to the full video in the description box below. So if you're interested to know the whole story and some of the techniques and strategies that I've tried and mistakes that I did, uh, then you can go ahead and um, see the video in the description box below after this one. So I basically started writing on Medium back in November 2020. After writing only three long form articles, I set it aside. I got busy pursuing Amazon KDP. I got busy with Redbubble growing my Redbubble portfolio and I just forgot about it for a couple of months. And then I returned to Medium and uh, I started writing about two to three articles per month. At the time, I only had a free account, which limited me to only reading one article per month from other writers. And this really restricted my growth, it restricted my exposure as well. And I only started to take Medium seriously in the last five months after feeling inspired to give it a, a second shot. And this time around, when I came back to it after five, uh, after uh, in the last five months, I did make a, a consistent effort um, to not only write on Medium, but to get a, a membership on Medium, which is five dollars per month. And to me, that really helped because I got my return back on investment much more higher than um, than the basic minimum investment of five dollars per month. It allowed me to engage with other writers, it allowed me to grow my following and it also allowed me to grow my earnings as well. So I really do believe that getting a medium membership of five dollars per month has helped me to write and grow on the platform. Uh, and that's my own personal experience. So after uh, that, during this time, during the last five months, I wrote numerous intensive pieces around the theme of side hustles, uh, summarizing what I've learned, the resources that I used, and also breaking down my earnings as well and some of the techniques and strategies that I found helpful through the years. And a few points before we get started. In no way uh, in this video do I intend to brag about my earnings or my views. The purpose of this video is to reflect on what's been working for me in an attempt to potentially help uh, the viewers analyze their own stats and double down on what's working for them. So I'm going to share a list of my top performing articles that I consider to be viral in a way that they were responsible for the majority of my earnings on the platform. And by viral, viral I do mean um, in thousands. So it's not too much, but it d does really help to add up and it does really help to bring in a good consistent income um, per month for me. Uh, so let's dive in and reflect on the similarities of the articles that went well and the elements that I believe did make these articles gain popularity. First of all, we have um, 
uh, articles about Amazon KDP. I did write two articles about Amazon KDP. I wrote one titled Massive KDP Account Termination and that bought 7.4k views and the total earnings for that was $33.97. Now keep in mind I did publish that in November 23rd uh, 2021 and it has 10% internal views and 90% external views. Now Medium only pays for the internal views, keep that in mind, but I felt like for 10% internal views and a total earnings of uh, uh, $33.97 that was quite well for an article that took me about less than five minutes to write. Another article about Amazon KDP that I wrote is the article titled How Much I Earned on KDP Selling a uh, lined notebooks and the article bought 7.4k views and a total earnings of $93.33. It was published on November 4th, 2021 and keep in mind that it has an internal read rate of 28%. So 28% internal reads, 72% external. It has the exact same views as the previous article, the massive KDP account termination both have 7.4k views but the previous one only earned $33.97 this one earned $93.33 and part of that uh, goes back to the read time on the second article that made more the members spent more time reading because it was a longer article and also a higher internal read rate of 28% compared to the previous one of 10% so Another uh, great article that did well is about Redbubble. I wrote an article um, titled How I Made Passive Income on Redbubble and it brought 7.1 thousand views. The total earnings for that as of today was $40.23. I published this article in September the 6th, 2021 and it has an internal read ratio of 17% and um, the rest were external reads. Another one is uh, an article about local and keep in mind that we're going to discuss the similarities between each of the articles at the end just quite uh, briefly to help you in understanding what kind of articles you need to write and a couple of different strategies that we will discuss. So, that, so the article about Vocal, titled Interested in Vocal, Vocal just did something amazing today. That one did, um, did well bring 677 views keep in mind it is um uh, it is quite short the total earnings for that was $13.84 and it was published on October 23rd 2021 and it has a 68% internal read ratio and a 32% external reads another one is um Shutterstock Shutterstock Photography Income Reveal and it bought 877 views. Total earnings for that was $18.50. It was also published in November 22nd, 2021. And for this, it has a uh, internal read ratio of 50% and a 50% external read. My last article that did quite well was about app development and it's titled Eight App Ideas That Are Proven to Work. And it has a read, um, uh, an, a view ratio of um, number of views are 862 and the total earnings for that is $17.48. It was published on October 28, 2021 and it has an internal read ratio of 77% and an external read ratio of 23%. So that was quite well. And keep in mind that although I'm discussing the total earnings, these can increase based on if I get more views, um, internal views by media members reading these articles, uh, then uh, their earnings does increase um, because it's uh, these articles are live. So let's discuss some of the similarities between all of the articles. First of all, all of the five articles that I discussed share one major similarity that I believe made them more attractive than other articles that I've written. And I've written uh, as of today 123 articles. Uh, so all of the articles that I discussed is except for the last one about the app development they all revol revolve around one common theme passive income other similarities include that all five articles they discuss a step-by-step -step approach to make online income and they provide actual value to the reader 
is they encourage the reader to embark on these side hustles. Um, so what does that teach you? You need to write articles that basically simplify to the reader a step-by-step -step approach and add value as well. Also, all of the articles are long form. So they're all long articles with a minimum of four to five minutes of read time and a minimum uh, number of words of 600 words. So that's a minimum right here. And the first five articles that I shared uh, basically talk about my experience using platforms and include a breakdown of my earnings as well. Four of the articles also discuss not only what I gained from selling from the online platforms, but also the mistakes. And that's really, really crucial to discuss the mistakes that I did so that the um, beginner freelancer knows what to avoid if they intend to pursue writing online or working online. Uh, four out of the five articles also discuss the next steps that I intend to take to step up my game. So not only did I provide my mistakes, my experience, my value to the reader, a step-by-step -step approach, I also outlined to them what are my next steps. So in my article about Redbubble, I shared uh, at the end of the article, what are my next steps? What did I learn from my mistakes and what I intend to do for the next six months on my journey on Redbubble? And this really helps to encourage the reader to uh, not only provide value, you, but encourage them to follow my journey, encourage them to st step up and possibly uh, take note of the next steps that I'm doing and uh, also uh, adapt one of these steps for themselves so then they would be able to uh, kind of uh, pave their path towards success on the platform based on the mistakes and what I've learned as well. So what do we learn by the end of this video? What do I want you to take out of? Well, first of all, if you intend to write an article on your online income journey, do not hesitate to over deliver value, over share. Um, this will really, really help in growing your following. And also it would show you as credible and over sharing is really, really crucial also because um, it helps the reader to trust you and to make sure that you over deliver the value as well. Also include what mistakes you did or include your next steps uh, because this really, really, really will help you to take in order to kickstart your growth. The reader will follow your journey and you can update them every two to three months on what you implemented. You can write another blog post on what you implemented, what worked for you, what didn't, and you can also include a link to your previous article so they can follow um, on that as well. Also, focus on articles that can attract internal reads and try to optimize external reads by directing them to either um, your blog, your YouTube channel, um, your referral program, anything that really would help in kind of keeping them engaged and making sure to, do, to deliver value to them. Never uh, link to anything outside of um of your topic and anything that will not provide direct value to your reader. So what are my next steps? As usual, uh, my next steps can be summarized in one point. First of all, double down on what is working. I intend to create more similar articles under the same niche, but I focus, uh, focus on summarizing each of the long form article that I've written. So I intend to write a shorter article on each of the main articles that are doing quite well, all the five articles that I've discussed in today's video, and uh, just providing a quick summary for that. Not repeating but more like rephrasing and adding a little bit of extra value and then linking to the long form article at the end as well if readers want to engage and read even further so these were my uh, uh, basically advice or the key behind the best performing stories on medium for the last year i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like share and subscribe i'd love to have you on board